Okay, guys, here we go. I'm starting again. This is part B, part two. So if you have a graph, if you have a graph, and you want to know if it's a function, there is a thing called a <coughs> vertical line test. It's so easy. So let's say this is my graph. And I have, I have a, um, a straight line. I'm going to use, it's called the vertical line test. Vertical line test. So if you have a graph, this is the way to tell whether it's a function. You take a vertical line, and it would be great if I had a yardstick, but I don't. Um, we used to have one here. If I have a vertical line, if I have a vertical line, I just, I put it to the right of the graph, and I start moving it to the left. And I notice that, boom, I hit that, that, that diagonal line in one place. And it's only touching in one place on this vertical line. That means for that x at that point, there's only one y. Does that make sense? As I move this across, it's only touching here and here and here and here and here, only in one spot all the way across as I run it across. Now, if I do this, <coughs> oh. now we have that circle. I'm going to do my vertical line test. Oh, uh, oh, here, oh. it's hitting in one spot. But here, it's hitting here and here. And here, here and here, and here and here. And then here, it's one spot again. But that means it's not a function. If the vertical line test can immediately tell you. Does that make sense? That it's not, that it's not a function or that it is a function. Straight lines are always functions. Well, not always functions. What if I had a straight line like this? Gary? Yes. How does this have to do with the... I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how to identify if you have a graph and they ask you, is this a function? Oh. I'm showing you how to tell. We use a vertical line. And if, it just, if that shape on the graph only touches the line at one point at all places, then it's a function. Well, if, if it's a straight line, then it is if it's a straight line, it's always going to be a function. Unless, let's look at this. What if we had a straight line <coughs> that, that says x, x is equal to 3? That's a vertical line. You guys agree, right? As I come here like this, as soon as I get there, boom, how many places is it touching the vertical? A lot. Everywhere. A lot. Everywhere, right? It's not a function. It's not a function. You can also have like zigzag line functions, right? If you have, so what is the slope? Do we know what the slope is on a vertical line? Does anybody know? Slope is vertical. Um, it's actually undefined. undefined. There's no definite. There's it's undefined. The slope is undefined. What about a horizontal line? Undefined. No. If you're if you if you're going down the ski slope, right, and you get at the bottom and it's suddenly zero. flat, what's the slope? Zero. 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 Oh. So horizontal zero. You just we don't think about it in terms of vertical, but Vertical, there's actually no slope, but it's a it's undefined slope because if in terms in the terms <coughs> that we're using for the word function and so forth, that you know, it just it's there's it's an undefined slope. So anyways, so yes. So that's that. So now let's talk about different ways in which you will see this. You'll see it like this. They'll ask you, is that a function? All you have to do is look at your x's. One, two, three, four, five. If there's no repeats, it's a function. End of story. Does that make sense? Even though these don't seem to relate, or they do seem to relate, they seem weird, doesn't matter. As long as there's no repeats in the x thing, then it is a function. Okay. All right. What if you have it this? There's also a thing called a map... Um, Mapping, like mapping map, charts, um, mapping, mapping diagrams. Mapping diagrams. Yeah. So mapping diagrams. <coughs> I know these are a little confusing at first, yeah. but they make sense once you understand them. Mapping diagrams. Let's say we had this, and we had this, and we had one, two, three, four, and we had you know I don't know six, eight. 10, 12. Why can't you just make a table? And if I did this, boom, 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 boom. 
right? So in essence, what that's saying is when x is 1, this is, remember, x is always on the left. So this is my input, my x, and this is my output, my y, my domain, and my range, right? I'll put that here. Domain, range. So in order to tell if something is a function, I just have to look at my domain. Remember, my inputs, my x's. I look at my x's, one, two, three, and four, and I ask myself, is there any, are there any repeats? Well, in this case, I can't go by the number as much as by the lines, the way the lines are mapped out. For this number, how many, how many values does one have in the y? It only has one, right? It goes down to the 10. So there's only one value for this x. For when x is 1, there's one value for y. It's 10. When x is 2, there's only one value, right? It's 6. When x is 3, there's only one value. It's 8. When x is 4, there's only one value. It's 12. So this is a function. Does that make sense? Sort of? You get it? Okay. All right. So let me g g give you an example of one that's not a function. Do functions have to have rules? Oh, what? I'm sorry? Who asked that? Becca? Oh, I'm sorry, what did you say? They have to have rules. Um, not, 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 no. Not always. The, the only rule is that what I said, basically, that you're, for every x there can only be one value of y. Now, a lot of functions will have rules. It's a great question. A lot of functions will have rules, especially as we start working with equations. But like when you have something like this, this is an equation. It doesn't mean it's going to keep going through infinity, right? The domain is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's it. There's no 6 in the domain. The no that's the only domain there is. There's no equation that means it's going to go on forever, right? And so I don't know exactly how they relate as a function. And they might not have a rule that makes sense. But when you start working with an equation, that is a function, then yes, it will. There will be a rule, okay? Now, ideally, most of them are going to have rules. And a lot of times you get something like this and they say, write a function with this information. And so, so then we have to figure that out. How could we write an equation, you know, that would make it true for this, right? In this case, this would be, this would, one would actually not, well, that one would be a little hard because of this. So. And in this case, there might not be a rule that totally works, right? Um, <coughs> all right, so here we go. So let's say we do the same thing. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and we've got 6, 8, 10, 12, and I have this. <coughs> Is that a function? No. No. Why is it not a function, Mary? Because one of the um, inputs is matched to two of the outputs. Exactly. Look, number three is match has two different values for the output, and that that breaks the rule of function. So it's not a function. It's not even possible. Right. So right. But and that's the whole idea is you want a function usually is something that can become. Um, real and useful, right? That's the idea. Now, some of these, I don't know, I, I'd like to actually, maybe I need to research the answer to your question better in terms of whether a function always has a rule. It should have a rule, but it might be a rule such as, you know, it could be it could be a rule that looks like this. Like, if we didn't have this doggone 20 here, like, we could say that the function would be y is equal to, what would I multiply if this is my x? <coughs> What would I multiply <coughs> by x to get that? Well, x plus 10. No, I'm sorry. Times, times 10x, I right? Mean x times 10. If x is 1, I get 10. y is 10. If x is 2, if x is 2, I would get 20. You see what I'm doing? Uh-huh. If x is 3, I would get 30. Ah, if x is 4, I would get 40. Ooh, but if x is 5, I would get 50, but it says 20. So I might have to say... I might have to have a system here that says 
if x is 5, then y is 20. See what I'm saying? It might have to be something like that. And, and it's, it's kind of weird. I'm just... There, but, but usually a function does... We have 10 minutes. We're doing okay. We've got 5 minutes left. Okay. Um, now I... Okay. Yes. Is it over? Oh, I see. That's why you're seeing it. Okay. Oh, no, I remember you said Okay. We'll stop there. Okay, Nick. We'll stop there. Okay.